Good evening all of you. Welcome to the video on analysis of CECC amplifier. Yes, this is the circuit. See the first stage to the base input is connected and the emitter is grounded and the output at collector is given as input to the base of the second transistor. Okay. So as the base is input, emitter is grounded and collector is output. This is CE configuration or this is CE amplifier. Now coming to the second one, PO base is input, collector is AC grounded and emitter is output terminal. Hence this Q2 is said to be CC amplifier. Okay. So this is CECC. I can say cascade amplifier also. Okay. Because the two stages are adjacent. It like series. Okay. Yes, now what is the first step? First step is drawing AC equivalent circuit. What are the conditions that we have to follow to get AC equivalent circuit? You have to make VCC equal to 0 and you have to make all the capacitors shorted. If you observe the circuit, the circuit I consider is not having any capacitors. So, uh, no need to worry about the second point. So now, as VCC is 0, see this RC, is, the RC is grounded from C1 uh, to this ground. And C2, other end is at 0. So, we can draw like this. See this? I am drawing RC1 here. Okay. Instead of this ground, I can go like this. Okay. So, this is AC equivalent circuit. What is the next step? You have to do a simplified H parameter model equivalent. Okay. Yes. How to draw this? First, you have to replace the transistors with its approximate H parameter model. For that, yes. Keep the terminals first. B1, C1, and this is E1. Yes. Between base and emitter, HIE. If you observe the analysis, I am following the similar steps. Between collector and emitter, you have H of EIB. As this is B1, the current here is IB1. As this is C1, the current here is IC1. So this is H of EIB1. Okay, and if you see B1, B1 is joined with RS. And there is a source Vs. Okay. Then coming to the collector C1. The resistance is RC1. The next stage comes. Then uh, the terminals. B2. And the output terminal is E2. And the grounded terminal is C2. Okay. Usual between base and emitter, you have HIE. This is HIE. Between collector and emitter, you have HFIB. Yes. Dry current source. That is HFE. The current source is HFEIB2. Okay. And for the emitter, if you see, the resistance RE is connected, which is nothing but RL for all circuit. Okay. So you join all these uh, connections and here also C1 and B2. Okay, so between C1 and B2 you have that resistance RC1. So this is the circuit. So right here IB2 and this is IE2 and this is IL. Okay, so along with that now how to keep the resistances RI1 and at C1. R01 and after RC1 R01 dash which 
is R01 in parallel with RC1 and at B2 exactly you have Ri2 and at E2 R02 and after RE R02 dash that is R02 in parallel with RE. Okay, yes fine. So this is the approximate H parameter model. And, uh, please uh, mention here V0. Yes, we know the analysis starts from second stage. Analysis of second stage. What is the second stage? CC. Okay. Yes, now you have the table. Please check the table. So, from the table, so the first parameter AI2 is 1 plus HFE. Ri2 is HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RE. RE is that last resistance. And AV2 is AI2 into RL2 by RI2. What is AI2? That is 1 plus HFE. What is RL2? The load resistance is RE. For the second stage divided by what is RI2? HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RE. So this is AV2. Okay. Then what is R02? R02 is RS plus HIE by 1 plus HFE. Okay. See here what is RS? This is for second stage. But if you see RS. RS is in the first stage. For this first stage, this resistance is the source resistance. But that is not the source resistance for second stage. What is the source resistance for second stage? See here, where it is connected? It is connected before the first stage input terminal. And in the same way, this is the second stage input terminal. And you have to consider the resistance connected before V2. Okay. What is that resistance totally here? Say this. It is nothing but your R01 dash. Because this is R01 and this is R01 in parallel with RC1. This total becomes the source resistance for the second stage. So your RS is R01 dash. Okay. Yes. This is the analysis of second stage. Now we will move to the analysis of first stage. What is the first stage? C. Okay then. Then AI1. We know it is HFE. RI1. HIE. AV1. AI1 into RI1 by RI1. What is RL1? RL1. Load resistance of the first stage. Say this. This is the output terminal. The resistance connected after the output terminal becomes the load resistance. Okay. So what you have to consider? You have to consider from this to the first stage input. What is the resistance totally? Up to this. Yes. After C1 you have R1 dash. And after C1 you have R I2. So totally R L1 is R01 dash in parallel with Ri2. Okay then. What is R01? R01 is infinite. Therefore, R01 dash that is R01 in parallel with Rc1 becomes your Rc1. So now substitute this Rc1 here. So you get Ri1 is equal to Rc1 in parallel with Ri2. Okay, so this is the analysis of first stage. Now we will move to the analysis of overall parameters. What are the overall parameters? It's the first parameter is AV. We know it is AV1 into AV2 which is nothing but V0 by VR. AI AI1 into AI2 RI 
is nothing but R I one. R not nothing but R not two dash. Okay, so along with these two, we have AVS and AIS. Okay, next we'll move to the AVS. AVS. We know it as V not by V S. V not by V I into V I by E S. And we know V not by V I is A V. So A V into V I by V S. Okay. Yes. Now to find V I by V S. Consider this input part. Consider the circuit V S. This is R S, and the resistance here is R I one. Which across R I one is V I. Okay. So this is V I. So now this is a series circuit in which there is voltage division. So go for voltage division. V I is equal to total voltage V S into Best resistance R I one by total resistance R I one plus R S, so it implies V I by V S is equal to R I one by R I one plus R S. Therefore, your A V S is equal to A V into R I one by R I one plus R S. Okay, very easy. Then the next term. What's the next term? Next is A I S. What is I S? We know it is I L by I S. Okay, how to expand it? You have to move back. I L by what is the back current? I E two. So again, you have to write I E two here. Divide it by what is the back current? I B two. So next I B two by I C one. Next I C one by I B one because the next current is I B one. Then I V one by I S. Okay, so now now we have to see about these five factors. So I V L I L by I E two. See this, this is I L and this is I E two. Both are in opposite direction. That's all. They are equal, but in opposite direction. That is the reason this becomes minus one. Okay, then I E two by I V two. Yes. Okay, I'll write here. What is A I two? Output current of the second stage. What is that? I L divided by input current of the second stage. What is that? I V. Fine. What is I L minus I E two by I V two? Okay. So it implies I E two by I V two is nothing but minus A I two. Okay. So I write this as minus A I two into What is I B two by I C one? See here, this is I C one and this is I B two. There is a resistance R C one. For that, consider the circuit. Observe carefully C one. After that, we have the resistance R C one. After that, you have the terminal B two. Okay. So at B two, what is the resistance here? The resistance is R I two. Okay. So actually, from C one to this back, the current is I C one. Okay. Now consider the current into the circuit means like this. It becomes minus I C one. So what is happening? Minus I C one is coming like this. It is entering this node, and it gets divided into two parts. Right? This part. What is that part? That part current is C here. That is I V two. This is I V two. Okay. So now, what we can write? We can write I V two. The total current entering in this initial node, that is minus I C one, into opposite resistance R C one. Divided by R C one plus R I two. Okay, so what is I V two by I C one? R C one by R C one plus R I two. Okay, so you can write here R C one by R C one plus R I two. 
Okay, that IC1 by IB1, we know it is HRV. The next factor is IB1 by IS. See the input circuit. So if you see the input circuit, there is no other resistance to divide the current IS. So now your IS and IB1 both are same. See here, same like this. So what is IB1 by IS? Is nothing but 1. Okay, so totally your AIS is this. This is AIS. Fine. So this is the analysis of CEC amplifier. Okay. So how is the problem? If they'll give all the resistance values and HI, HRB, they'll ask us to find various voltage gains, current gains, input impedance, and output impedance. Yes, as you have all the formulas, first you have to get the formulas, then substitute the given values and get the required values. Okay. So that's all. Uh, we left with one big concept that is the Darlington emitter follow your circuit uh, which is again a two-stage amplifier I will do in the next video. Okay, thank you very much.